Welcome back everyone. Today we learn about meiosis. To start of, what is meiosis? Meiosis is defined as the division of nucleus during cell division, which produces four genetically different daughter cells from one parent cell. And it is carried out in the gonads, referring to the testes and ovaries in humans, anthers and ovaries in flowering plants, to produce gametes only. Why is meiosis important? This is because it allows for genetic variation offsprings. Meiosis also allows for more genetic variation in offsprings, making it more likely for some individuals in a population to be better adapted to the environment. We will explain more on this in the later part of this video. Not forgetting that meiosis is needed for sexual reproduction. Before we move into the stages of meiosis, we need to define some terminologies that will be used. Firstly, homologous pairs of chromosomes. A homologous pair of chromosome means that the chromosomes are of the same size and have the same location of centromere, contain same genes in the same position, and they pair up during prophase 1. Secondly, haploid. Haploid means a single set of chromosomes. Lastly, diploid. Diploid means two sets of chromosomes, one set from each parent. Now, let's look at the stages of meiosis. Before meiosis, cells are at the interface stage, whereby DNA synthesis occurs, and the cell grows and multiplies at organelles. The first stage of meiosis is prophase 1. The centrioles divide from one pair into two pairs and migrate to opposite ends of the cell. The long thin chromatin threads will coil into thick condensed chromosomes. The nuclear membrane will also break down and spindle fibers will connect to centromeres. In addition to this, let's zoom into the pairing of the homologous chromosome that takes place as well. As defined earlier homologous chromosomes are chromosomes of the same size, have the same location of the centromere and contain same genes in the same position. Besides pairing up, a process called crossing over takes place as well. The non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes cross over at the chiasmata, allowing exchange of genes. The next stage of meiosis is metaphase 1. The homologous pairs of chromosomes align at the equatorial plate or metaphase plate independently. This process is called independent assortment. Independent assortment means that the arrangement of the pairs of homologous chromosomes along the equatorial plate is independent of the other pairs. Followed by this is anaphase 1. In this stage, there is the separation of homologous chromosomes. And they move to opposite ends of the cell as seen in the diagram. After anaphase 1 is telophase 1. The separated chromosomes reach opposite poles. The nuclear membrane reforms. And the chromosomes uncoil. Once telophase 1 is complete, cytokinesis occurs. The splitting of the cytoplasm into two causes two daughter cells that are haploid to be formed. But this is not the end of meiosis as we recall that meiosis causes four genetically different daughter cells to be produced. Thus, these two daughter cells must further split into two again. Similar to prophase 1 in prophase 2 stage. The centrioles divide from one pair into two pairs and migrate to opposite ends of the cell. The long thin chromatin threads will coil into thick condensed chromosomes. The nuclear membrane will also break down. And spindle fibers will connect to centromeres. However, do note that there is no pairing of homologous chromosome or crossing over that occurs at prophase 2. Reason being that the pair of homologous chromosomes have already been separated in anaphase 1. Followed by prophase 2 is metaphase 2. The chromosome align at the equatorial plate or metaphase plate but this time in a different direction as can be seen in the diagram compared to when in metaphase 1 stage. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids now separate and they move to opposite ends of the cell. In telophase 2, the daughter chromosome reach opposite poles, the nuclear membrane reforms, and the chromosome uncoil. Finally, during cytokinesis, the cytoplasm splits into two, and four genetically different haploid daughter cells are formed. 
Before we conclude this video let's compare the differences between meiosis and mitosis. In mitosis, diploid cells are produced, but in meiosis haploid cells are produced. In mitosis, it occurs everywhere in the body to produce somatic cells, but meiosis occurs in the gonads only to produce gametes. In mitosis, two daughter cells are produced, but in meiosis four daughter cells are produced. In mitosis, the daughter cells are genetically identical to the parent cell, but in meiosis the daughter cells are genetically different from the parent cell. In mitosis there is no pairing of homologous chromosomes in prophase stage, but in meiosis pairing of homologous chromosome occurs in prophase 1. Lastly, in mitosis independent assortment doesn't occur in metaphase stage, but in meiosis independent assortment occurs in metaphase 1. So why do we need reduction division in meiosis prior to fertilization in sexual reproduction? Why can't we produce gametes via mitosis instead? The reason is because we want to prevent the doubling of chromosome in sexual fertilization. Recall that in fertilization, two gametes fuse together. The reduction division ensures that each gamete containing 23 chromosome each fuse to form a zygote that will have a total of 46 chromosomes. If reduction division didn't occur in anaphase one of meiosis and gametes were produced by mitosis instead. There will be doubling of chromosome in the zygote each time fertilization occurs per generation. To conclude this video we will look at how meiosis and fertilization lead to variation. In prophase 1, crossing over at the chiasmata of non-sister chromatids allows the exchange of genetic information and the formation of new alleles. Independent assortment that occurs in metaphase 1 leads to 2 to the power of n possible combinations of arrangements of chromosomes along the metaphase plate. Lastly, fertilization itself is a random process due to the random fusion of gametes. That's all for today. Thank you for the effort to learn with me. Stay tuned for more interesting lessons. See you next time. Bye-bye.